What's up guys? Hey guys, what's We're up? Back. So we are back with a new Model 3 video. Um, this video, what is it about? It's about all your answers to the questions that you guys left in our previous video, which we'll leave a link right here, somewhere up here. Yes, so let's get to it. Straight to the Model 3. <laughs> Question number one that we have. What's the best way to attach a front license plate without drilling holes? Tesla does provide you with a license plate holder that does not require any type of drilling. Um, this is basically what it looks like. And the very back of the license plate holder, it is a 3M adhesive, double-sided. So it will stick onto your front bumper without any drilling required. With that, they do provide you with two little baggies. Um, they do contain the front license plate fasteners and then the rear license plate fasteners. Uh, they're basically the screws that will hold in your license plate. And those will basically go in right here, here, down here, and down there. So basically the way you would actually stick it on to your bumper, you're gonna have this bottom part facing downward, and that's what's gonna go against your bumper down here. I would recommend having two people for this. Uh, you're gonna need somebody to actually center it for you, kind of let, letting you know if it's gonna be more to the left, more to the right. Basically what you have to do, peel off the tabs and once you get that peeled off that's when you have somebody help you center it and just push it up against your your bumper hold it for a couple of seconds applying some pressure and after that you'll be good to go and use bolt on your license plate okay question number two is if you have your seat and mirror set to a driver a does the seat move all the way back when you exit the car and if a second driver B enters the car next will it go to their settings and the answer is yes. Let us show you. Okay, so let's just say I got to my destination, I put the car in park, and I am selected to, it's in my profile right now, so driver A. I take off my seatbelt, and because I have already pre-selected the box in my driver profile to do the easy entry, my seat will go back all the way and the mirrors will be adjusted when I take off my seatbelt. And there it is, it's easy to get out of the car. So now let's just say I am driver B, and right now it's an easy entry mode, but all I have to do is press the brake pedal, and it goes to the previous driver profile. But let's just say I'm not driver A, I'm driver B. I need to manually put it to driver B, and there you go, it moves the seats back, it moves the mirrors, and it moves the steering wheel. Okay, so question number three has to do with our phone keys and how they work exactly. What happens when a driver and a passenger have both phone keys with them? What happens when the driver gets out of the car to all the features inside while the passenger is still in there with their phone key? We'll check that out right now. We are in the car and we both have our phone keys with us with Bluetooth on and I'm about to go out right now and let's see exactly what happens when Frankie stays in the car. So it automatically shut off as soon as she got out of the car. There's no air conditioner coming on, the radio's off, the screen went pitch black and it went back to easy entry mode. So nothing's on. Um, but as a passenger, as long as I have my key card on here, I can just tap the screen once and everything comes back on. The screen's back on, the AC's back on, and even the music comes back on. And the, the doors stay unlocked. Okay guys, so now we're going to show you what happens when the driver has their phone key and the passenger doesn't, or has Bluetooth off. So as you can see, um, everything got turned off right away. No AC, uh, nothing. Everything's off. The mirrors got locked in, so I'm locked in right now. And I still have access to the screen. And the air is still on right now. It just turned on. And I am able to open the door from the inside and it unlocks the doors. And when I close the door, it goes pitch black. 
I still have access to it. So everything still works. The screen still works, um, the AC still works, and the music, the music still works too. Question number four has to do with the speed of the Model 3. It is, what is the max speed? Because our odometer is digital, you cannot see the max speed displayed. But our max speed is 140 miles per hour, according to Tesla. Question number five. Does the Model 3 have LBD2 type diagnostic port? And the answer is no. Not exactly an OBD2 diagnostic port. So it's just like Yvonne said. Uh, the car does not have an OBD2 port, but it does have a special uh, diagnostic connector. It's still located under the driver's side. And it's basically that small little five prong port. I don't know exactly what they call it, but that's the only connector down here in the car. My best bet is that that's for Tesla only. They have their own computers, their own connections. So I'm pretty sure that's something they would use to hook up to their computers and basically diagnose the car in that way. But that's the only port that's in the car under. Um, but I don't know what they call it exactly. Question number six is, what does the manual say about towing capability? Go to owner's manual, under specifications, vehicle loading, you scroll all the way down talks about towing a trailer. It says, warning, do not use Model 3 for towing purposes. Model 3 does not currently support towing. Towing can cause damage and increase the risk of a collision. Caution, using Model 3 for towing before Tesla approved towing components and accessories are available may void the warranty. So it looks like right now the Model 3 is not able to tow a trailer. Question number seven. Are Slacker Radio and the LTE connection subscription based? Okay, so the car does come with the LTE connection already and Slacker Radio. Although if you have a Slacker account, you can sign in here. We currently don't, but it still lets us stream just with limitations. And no, there's no subscription to either both the LTE connection or there's no subscription required for the slacker to use it. But like I said, there are some limitations with, with using it without a subscription. Question number eight. Do people stop you to see the car and ask questions? Or is everyone there just used to seeing Teslas? So where we live, um, they're not common. Uh, we do live in a small little town. Um, so we do get a lot of people that you can tell they're staring you down the you can even tell that they turn around like they're just like what kind of car is that yeah, yeah. they're curious and sometimes get scared that they might snap their neck how fast <laughs> yeah. they're turning they're just like <laughs> but we do get it a lot a lot of people do stare at us um i feel like the number one thing that everybody asks us is that what kind of car is that um, we have had a couple people come up to us yes. and they asked us about it. Um, and they were already familiar with the Model 3, so that's why they came up to us and asked us about it. Um, one particular gentleman, he was about to leave his card on our windshield as we were approaching our car coming out of Target. And he basically just wanted to see if he can take it for a test drive one day, if we were willing to do that for him. Yeah. I also had uh, another guy who said he put his reservation down, he, um, he put it down on the second day when it was announced. So he said he's still waiting for it. I don't know how much longer for those of you who are still waiting, but I gave him a, a ride in the car and he loved it. I and mean, he said it's, it's gonna be worth the wait. So back to your question. Yes, people do stop us and stare at us. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that is it. Our GoPro just died. So that's why we're filming on our phone right now. But um, thank you guys again for all those wonderful questions. Sorry if we didn't get to answer any of your questions today, but we will soon, so yes. stay tuned. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, that way you're alerted when we do post a new video. Um, share the video with any of your friends, family, or anybody who has a question in general about a Model 3. We're trying our best to give you all the info we can on the Model 3.
and thank you again for watching our adventures through our lens. Yeah.